Hello and welcome to another episode of Album Review. I'm Ominous and today we have the seventh studio album by the legendary hard rock band ACDC. Uh, probably most people think I hate ACDC because oh they're generic and they're shamey and mm, you know stuff like that. But I honestly do not really mind them. Um, they are probably one of my favorite hard rock bands because you know ACDC is just to the core a classic hard rock band so Kind of really complain about that. So in that regard, they are one of my favorites in, in that genre, but not all-time worthy in my opinion. But if I do want to, you know, listen to some hard rock, then ACDC is definitely up there for me. Uh, yeah. So this record is hard rock, heavy metal, arena rock, 42 minutes long. This record is requested by Steven Young because he thought, oh, uh, you know, Alex, Minister of Music, oh, he hates it. He hates ACDC, but maybe you like it. And actually, I believe he, he hated them for a while, but then he kind of returned on them, so there we go. Uh, it's a very to the point, straight record, pretty much like every ACDC record. It has 10 songs, 42 minutes, like I said, 11 seconds, so. Uh, we start off with pretty much my favorite, my all-time favorite ACDC track, which is Hell's Bells. It's a very ominous kind of dark tone to it, like rest in peace to uh, Bon Scott. Uh, yeah, this, this is basically just a tribute to him, to the legend. Um, yeah, and you know, it just starts off really spooky and then it later goes into a more traditional kind of ACDC style. Uh, Hell's Bells, you know, they're coming to you. Uh, the, the vocals by Brian Johnson are very uh, raspy and very raw, very gritty, very dark undertone kind of song. I do really like it. It is pretty much my favorite ACDC tune, so there we go. Now I have Shoot the Trail, which is the second song. Uh, this is a very kind of dirty, raunchy kind of song, you know. If, if, you, want, if you want the trails, then shoot, then shoot the kill, play the trail. I got, my gun, I got my finger on the trigger or something. I don't remember the lyrics exactly, but it is just a very, like, to the point ACDC song. I mean, if you're playing a shooter or if you're just rocking out or just, you know, shooting real guns, you know, ju just for the sake of it, then this is definitely your anthem. Very, very classic to the point ACDC song and definitely worth your money. Speaking of money, what do you do for money, honey? Uh, very to the point, kind of uh, dirty, raunchy ACDC song, you know, kind of think of Big Balls, which is kind of like, it is kind of a cringy song, honestly, but it is a fun song. You know, not, not this song, but that other song. This song, otherwise, it does improve on that matter. It does have other lyrical content, but it does still have some really raunchy lyrics. But it's not blatantly obvious, so I do like that they upped the kind of intelligence on that matter. So there we go. Giving the dog a bone. This is probably the dirtiest ACDC song ever, because I was just, I was just like, yeah, they're just giving the dog a bone. What about it? But they actually mean like, you know, woman, uh, they actually mean with the dog, a woman, and well, the bone, you can figure it out. Um, <laughs> I, do really, I do really like this kind of, uh, kind of metaphor right here, I do really like it. It is a really raunchy kind of like good closure for side one, it does make me laugh. Or it's actually not the closure, the closure is let me put my love in into you, which is even a more raunchier and even a more kind of like sexier song in a way. Uh, you know, Brian Johnson really goes into the love kind of here, so I do really like that for him, so there we go. Uh, very raunchy track, ends it on a very dirty brown note, if you know what I mean, uh, or white, <laughs> don't, don't go into that. but. Uh, but it is a very, very classic track and I do really like uh, the kind of raunchy kind of style of the song as it makes it really raw and gritty, encapsulating on this record's success, so there we go. And then we have of course the opening of Side 2, which is pretty much the, the staple of hard rock stations or classic rock stations back in black. I mean, I don't really have to talk about the song. It is a classic, it's pretty much, you know, you know it, everyone knows it, everybody loves it, so there you go. It's, it, it's the title track, it's pretty much the most iconic ACDC track ever, and there you go. Now we have You Shook Me All Night Long, which is basically um, the catchiest song where Brian Johnson is having sex, with like a big woman. 
um, and he's basically saying you shoot me all night long. Uh, he's going into some really like lyrical depth right here about the woman, so I do really like that uh, that that he's enjoying himself. Very catchy track, three and a half minutes long, perfect for the radio. Great solos by Angus Young, and just a classic overall. And then we have Have a Drink on Me, which is just a very like iconic party song, you know. Have a drink on me. It's just very classic. It's very good. Uh, yeah, just a very classic song in general. Uh, I do really like the lyrical comment once more. It is just a very like drink heavy track, you know. It just kind of, you know, this song kind of sells it on itself, honestly, because um, it, it just basically says, Have a drink on me. You drink to, to this song and you're having a great time. I personally don't drink, but if you do drink, then this song doubles the effect. I think you know, so there we, you know, don't don't take my advice for it, but you can try it anyway in a bar or something. Play the song and have a blast. And then we have Shake a Leg, which is a uh, probably the most forgettable song of this album, but still a very great track. Um, yeah, the song is kind of all over the place, honestly. It is kind of rocking, it is kind of like softer in tone, but I mean, it is ACDC, so of course, it is kind of heavy all the time, hard rock, heavy metal. Um, yeah, just a very like pretty good track overall. I do really like it, and yeah, you know, it's a classic. Can't really say anything here. It is kind of like your typical ACDC song, so there's not a lot to uh, um, just a lot to talk about here. So there, I'm not gonna say a word. Fuck that. And then we have Rock and Roll: A Noise Pollution, which is arguably the best uh, titled track by ACDC ever. Uh, they're just saying rock and roll ain't never gonna die, it ain't noise pollution, you know, fuck, fuck the people that say, oh, we're, we're satanic and oh, you know, we do harm or something. I mean, it's easy, easy, fuck off. Um, yeah, you know, it was kind of showcased on how the hell they kind of flipped the people up there, but, you know, they were less serious about it. Um, but on this album, they were really greedy and they still had a kind of fuck you kind of uh, kind of dark undertone to it, while you know still honoring honoring um, Bon Scott's greatness. So there we go. Very classic track, probably in my top ten favorite ACDC songs. Maybe I'm gonna make a top ten about it. I'm not too crazy about ACDC. I do like to listen to them from time to time, from time to time, but. You know, they do get kind of repetitive for me, but I don't hate them. I believe Alex didn't hate them in the later years when you just listen to them again and again. So there we go. So overall, HD, you know, Back in Black, HDs in general, classic, classic, just classic left and right. Um, don't really have a any complaint with this record. It's, you know, 10 tracks long, 42 minutes long, perfect, perfect length, perfect track listing, perfect tracks. Hell's Bells is amazing, Shooter Trail is amazing, what do, you, what do you do for money, honey is funny, giving the dog a bone is raunchy, just gritty, you know, let me put my love into you even more, you know, that's times 10. Um, Back in Black is a, is a classic rock staple, you shook, my, you shook Me All Night Long is another one, Have a Drink On Me is a fun one, Shake Your Leg is a great one, and Rock and Roll and Noise Pollution is one of my personal favorites, and a great way to end of the year end of the record so yeah I mean it is pretty much a classic hard rock album it is one of the best hard rock albums you know if you want to start off in hard rock then Back in Black is pretty much yeah it is pretty much the best way to start off or you know Highway to Hell one of those two Let There Be Rock classic album so this is a 10 out of 10 of course it is a classic album I cannot really deny it I cannot really deny the greatness of this record so there we go Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this record in the comments down below. Comment what are your favorite ACDC songs, favorite ACDC albums. Yeah, this is my favorite right there. I mean, but that's not really an unpopular opinion. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe to other fun things to support the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.